Hello and welcome back to our Lord of the Rings LCG solo progression series. And today's quest is the Hills of Imen Muil, which is the fourth AP in the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. A quick reminder that in this series we're playing through each quest in chronological order of the game's initial release, and we'll only be using player cards that were available at the time of this quest release. I'm calling this deck all too easy because this is truly one of the easiest quests in the game, uh, not one that I greatly love, but it uh, should be a pretty quick playthrough. There's not much to say. Let's just get to the quest and see how we do. Um, so let's look at our opening hand and decide if we like it. I think I'm going to mulligan that hand. And so this is what we have to work with. Okay. So let's look at the setup for the Hills of Emin Muil. The hunt for Gollum has led you to the south, and you are now approaching Rauros Falls and the nearby hills of Emin Muil. For setup, we search the encounter deck for Amon Hen and Amon Law and add them to the staging area, then shuffle the encounter deck. So here's Amon Hen and Amon Law. They're both unique locations. They're Emin Muil traded, and they're worth five victory points each. Uh, X, uh, the threat is X, which is double the number of players in the game. So both of them are contributing to threat to the staging area. They both have really nasty effects. So when they're the active location, player, this one, uh, I'm, on, I'm on Hen, when it's the active location, players cannot play events. And this one says when it's the active location, treat all attachments as if their printed text boxes were blank. So I'm never going to travel to these. I'm going to get rid of them through... Uh, an assortment of Northern Tracker and also Snowborn Scout. Okay, so here is 1B, and we have to make one progress, and this is the only stage in the game, uh, but uh, let's read this text. You are certain that Gollum has fled into this area, and you must explore until you find the fresh trail. So there's this forced effect. If there are no location cards in the staging area, the first treachery card revealed during the quest phase gains surge. So I'll try to pretty much ensure that there's always a, uh, a location card in the staging area. And so how you don't just win this in the first round by questing for five is that the players cannot defeat this stage unless there are no Emin Muil locations in play and they have collected at least 20 victory points. So uh, the, these locations alone are worth half of that. So once these are cleared, uh, and they'll have to be because Emin Muil locations cannot be in play to win, uh, well, we've got 10 of the 20 that we need just between these two locations. But there are, uh, is also some uh, victory points, I think, on um, is uh, Hill Troll in this deck. I'm trying to remember. Uh, well, I know for sure there's victory on Chieftain Uthak. Let's see if there's Hill Troll in this deck. There's not. But there's I think that's the only victory point that is not a location is on Chieftain Uthak, which is uh, you know a hefty four. Okay, so let's shuffle the deck. All right, so let's just get to the resource phase. And we drew a card that's good to have initially. Hinamarth, let's draw two cards with Barivor. And I'm going to go ahead and just for the, the purposes of getting the chump out, let's go ahead and put out a Snowborn Scout. And it says after Snowborn Scout enters play, choose a location. Place one progress token on that location. Let's put that on Amon Hin. And then I'm going to go ahead and play Hinamarth as well. Okay, so we will quest with Eowyn and with Theodrid. And now Theodrid, it says, response, after he commits to a quest, choose a hero committed to that quest. Add one resource to that hero's resource pool. So I'll put that resource on Eowyn. And we're going to reveal the outer ridge. And so our threat goes up by one. Uh, one thing I'll say about the enemies, I think uh, other than Dol Guldur orcs, uh, most of them have sort of higher threat, 30, 35, things like that. Uh, so generally we can keep our threat pretty low because of Gandalf and because of Galadrim screenings, which we can afford due to Eowyn getting resources from Theodrid. Okay, so our threat already went up by one. We quested unsuccessfully. Uh, so during the travel phase, we have the choice to travel somewhere. Uh, let's see here. While the Outer Ridge lo is the active location, each location in the staging area gets plus one threat. So uh, it seems to me I guess better just to leave it in the staging area, and we'll northern tracker this out pretty quick. Okay, so let's see what's coming next. 
It's driven by shadow. Refresh. Next round. Drawing two cards with Barivor. All right. So we won't be able to explore these anytime soon until we get Northern Tracker going. Um, so there's no reason to put out Ancient Mathem quite yet. We'll just save up our resources, I think. We'll quest with Theodrid and Eowyn. And Theodrid will give that resource to Eowyn. And I'll leave Hinamarth ready. We're going to reveal Driven by Shadow. When revealed, each enemy and each location currently in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. If there are no cards in the staging area, Driven by Shadow gains Surge. So that's going to be plus three threat. I'll just put it on this card. So our threat will go up by four. And I could, you know, boost my willpower with Eowyn's action. I'm not going to do that, though. I'll just raise my threat by four. All right, so that's it for that round. Let's go ahead and see what's coming next. Another location, a really easy one to sort of get taken care of. All right, there's our northern tracker. Let's draw two cards with Barabor. And here's... Uh, okay, so we're going to play northern tracker. One, two, three, and four. We'll put northern tracker out. And uh, no reason to put out uh, the Ancient Mathems quite yet. Uh, so that we're going to have to deal with... Is it worth bringing Gandalf into play? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We can quest for five and six. Yeah, I'll just let my threat go up by one. Nope, let's, let's go ahead and bring Gandalf in. So I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf in at the beginning of questing and lower my threat by five. And I'm going to quest with Theodred and Eowyn. Eowyn, uh, Eowyn. Eowyn will get a resource from Theodred. I'll quest with Northern Tracker and with Gandalf. And Northern Tracker has his usual response. After Northern Tracker commits to a quest, place one progress token on each location in the staging area. So there we go. And we reveal the Highlands, and we made three progress. So enough progress to clear the stage and, and the game, since this is the only stage. But uh, just good to get our threat down low. All right, so we're not going to travel anywhere again. Uh, once again, we're not traveling anywhere. Let's see what's coming in another location. So right now we've got 5, 10, 12, 13, and 14 uh, uh, victory points. So let's see. Again, if we'll come back to our hand, refresh. Next round. Let's draw two cards with Barivor. There's another sneak attack. We're just not seeing enemies quite yet. Okay, so now we want to... We're going to clear this location and or this one. So let's go ahead and pay for two of these ancient mathems. We'll just put it on the outer ridge, either one, because these two locations will be explored by the northern tracker. All right. Anything else I particularly want to do? I don't believe so. Let's just quest with... Unless I want to sneak attack Gandalf in again, but I'd rather save that for possible combat issues. So let's quest with Theodred and Eowyn. Theodred will feed a resource to Eowyn. <clears throat> and now Northern Tracker is going to exhaust a quest, and when he does, progress tokens are placed on each location in the staging area, which means two locations have been explored. Both are going to the victory display. When Outer Ridge leaves play, uh, then we actually will draw six cards because of Ancient Madam, because uh, obviously the response. Okay, so drawing six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another Ancient Madam, and there's the uh, a second Northern Tracker. It's good to see. And so now we reveal the Highlands, and we made a, a, a progress on the current quest. And we'll just leave everything uh, in the staging area. What's coming next round? Okay, here's our first enemy. It's going to be a Surge, so we really could see a couple of enemies this next round. Refresh next round. Did I give Eowyn her resource when she quested last round? I think I did. Committed Theodred, yeah, added a resource. Okay, we'll draw two cards with Barivor. The hand's getting pretty full here. 
All right, so um, we've got ourselves a chump. We don't need to worry about chumping with eastern crows, but in case, like, uh, Chieftain of that comes out, the reality is these big enemies, their uh, threat is higher than our, their engagement cost is higher than our threat anyway. Um, we want to get Northern Tracker out, so I'm just going to save my resources on Eowyn for now. And we can always sneak attack Gandalf in, so I'm not going to do anything. Oh, I guess we could play an Ancient Mathem. Let's do that. We'll put Ancient Mathem on to the Highlands. And we're going to quest with Theodred and Eowyn. Eowyn will get a resource. And we're questing with Northern Tracker, so one progress on each location in the staging area. So Amon Hen is almost out of play. This will be added to the victory display. We will draw three cards. Okay, finally, there's Steward of Gondor. All right, so we will reveal Eastern Crows, which surges into Pursued by Shadow. When revealed, each player raises his threat by one for each character he controls that is not currently committed to the quest. That would be three. And I'll just raise my threat. Not four. All right, so we made one progress. And now Eastern Crows will engage us. And I'll block the attack with Snowborn Scout. After this attack, after this attack resolves, return attacking enemy to the staging area. Okay, so Snowborn Scout successfully defended. Let's look at what's coming next round. Another location. So let's do a little bit of a victory point check. We've got 10, 12, and then that would be 13, uh, 15, and 16. So we're at 16. So that's really the one thing about this quest. You just have to wait until you get the victory points, but it's not really at all difficult. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this Northern Tracker. We'll have a couple of Northern Trackers, which is a good thing. And now we can clear these two locations. Now, we'll want to be careful and not just clear the Outer Ridge uh, right away, because then treacheries get surge, although we could really handle anything that might occur. Okay, we will pay for... Um, Steward of Gondor, and I'm actually going to put it on Eowyn, and then I'll, if I need uh, leadership resources, Theodred can just feed those uh, to himself, but really it costs more for all the spirit cards. Um, so anything I want to do with this too? I don't think so. We'll quest with Theodred and Eowyn. For now, let's go ahead and just try to get our um, resources up in the spirit sphere. So we'll put give that resource to Eowyn. And we'll quest with both Northern Trackers, so two progress is placed on both of these locations, and so Amon Hen and Amon La go to the victory display. And I'm not worried about this uh, text because this isn't a sur this isn't a this is not a treachery. It says if there are no location cards in the staging area, the first treachery card reveal gains surge, but no treachery will be revealed. So for progress. And now we'll leave the outer ridge in play I think well let's let's find out actually we let's just exhaust okay so yeah this would surge next round which uh, so I did this during the action window after quest resolution to determine if I wanted to travel here or not but since a um, treachery is coming out I don't want it to surge so let's uh, have Eastern Crows engage us and attack and we'll defend with Snowborn Scout Oh, wait, this is the shadow card. I made a mistake there. Okay, so he, he blocked that. So I actually don't know what's coming out this round. Next round. I can find out, but I'd rather not uh, have to lose Hinnemarth. What is this bullet? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that reminded me about the forced effect. If there's no locations in the staging area. Drawing two cards with Barivor. And we can clear the outer ridge, but I don't want to because I don't have enough points to win yet. 5, 10, 11, 13, 14, and this is going to be 16. Did I do the right math? 5, 10, 
11, 13, 14, and 16. Okay, so I'm still four away. Uh, so I don't want to clear this with Northern Trackers. I can quest with Northern Trackers if I want to and not do the response. But uh, So I'll just quest with one for now and just put a, a, a progress on the Outer Banks. I'll quest with Theodred and uh, Eowyn and she'll... I'll tell you what, before we, before we quest, let's go back. I'll do some stuff in the planning here. So during planning phase, I'm going to put a um, Unexpected Courage onto Theodred. And because I just want to take out the Eastern Crows. Um, yeah, so that's all I'll do for now. So we're going to quest with Theodrid and Eowyn. Theodrid's going to give a resource to Eowyn. And we'll quest with just one of the Northern Trackers, putting a progress on the Outer Ridge. But I'm just going to... I'm going to leave it there for now. We'll reveal Orc Horse Thieves. He has Doom 2. So what did I just do? Raise his threat by 1. Okay. Raise his threat by 2. Doom 2. All right, so we made one progress. So it says uh, Orc Horse Thieves gets plus 1 attack for each location in the staging area. So there's 1. So he'll come down and engage me during encounter phase. And we'll just go ahead and jump uh, with Snowborn Scout. And so the Snowborn Scout leaves play. And I'm going to ready Thadrid. Uh, so we will block this attack with Northern Tracker, one against two. After this attack resolves, return attacking enemy to the staging area. What a pesky little guy. All right. And so now we'll attack for two against two, but nothing happens. Let's exhaust to see what's coming. Dolgaldor Orcs. Okay, refresh. And next round. I'm going to go ahead and slap a... <laughs> slap. I'm going to slap a Force Snare onto Orc Horse Thieves. Okay, drawing two cards with Barivor. So it's just a question of waiting until we can get the 20 victory points. So sometimes you win it quicker than other times. Um... We'll exhaust Steward of Gondor. Again, there's just not a reason for me to to explore the Outer Ridge yet because then all of a sudden all the, uh, well, the first treachery gets surged and I just don't want to deal with that. So um, let's see what we want to do here. Let's go ahead and put a Unexpected Courage on a Bear of War. And I'll put, let me see, this guy's going to be attacking for two. To destroy him, I would need attack of three. So let's put a Dunedain mark onto Theodred, which will give his attack. His attack will be at three now. And then we'll just go ahead and put a Dunedain warning onto Barivor, which gives her a defense of three, just to give her a little bit of extra cushion. So her defense is three. Okay, we will... Um, we could just cancel that with a test of will. Seems seems like a good idea. All right. Um, we will quest with Eowyn and Theodrid, and we'll give a resource to 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 uh, Theodrid actually. And I'm not going to quest with Northern Trackers because I just don't want to clear. There's no reason to. Okay, we're going to reveal Doggledore Orcs. When revealed, the first player chooses one character currently committed to a quest. Deal two damage to that character. Um, eh, we'll just... No, I won't play the the Test of Will. We'll just put that on Theodrid. And so, no progress made. All right, so here we go. A few enemies are going, going to engage us here. So, Shadow Cards will be dealt. Obviously, Orc Horse Thieves cannot attack us. Let's defend against this Eastern Crows with this Northern Tracker. And so he blocks the attack. Let's defend against this Dolgaldor Orcs with, with uh, Barivor. Two against three. So she successfully blocks. All right, we'll ready Theodred and attack and destroy Dolgaldor Orcs. And Northern Tracker will attack and destroy Eastern Crows. But when it's defeated, shuffle it back into the encounter deck. 
Okay, shadow cards are discarded at the end of combat, but before that, let's exhaust Hinamarth and see what's coming. Impossible Chasm. Okay, that's going to surge, which I wanted to. I, I need things to come out at this point. Okay, so we'll discard this. Uh, so that's the hardest, uh, the most difficult uh, treachery is this one. Rock slide, deal two damage to each character committed to uh, this, this quest. Okay, we're going to refresh and move on to the next round. All right, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and play uh, Daughter of the Nimmerdell, and she'll heal up uh, Theodrid in, the, in a moment. Okay, drawing two cards with Berevor. And just kind of waiting until we... I think we're at 16 victory points, so I just need a big location or a couple of small ones, I guess, at this point. All right, we want to... I still don't want to explore this because I don't want treacheries to gain surge and all that. There's no benefit. The willpower, the threat is not really hurting me. Um, let's just play a Galadrium Screeting and lower our threat by six. And that seems good. Let's go ahead and put out our third northern tracker. Where is it at? There it is. Okay, so all three northern trackers out. Um, let's go ahead and put this uh, Dunedain warning onto Dunedain mark onto Theodred, so he's attacking for four now. There might be an enemy like a Chieftain, Chieftain Uvthak that I could potentially attack and kill more easily without really doing the math. Um, so we'll quest with Eowyn and with Theodrid. Theodrid will actually give himself the resource at this point. And I'm not going to quest with anybody else. We'll reveal impossible, impassable chasm. It, since there is no active location, it just surges into Dogledore Orcs. When revealed, the first player must choose one character com currently committed to a quest. Deal two damage to that character. Uh, we'll put that on to, uh, actually what we'll do is, this is kind of cool. So we're in staging and now that, that, that uh, well, I guess there's not an action window after when revealed. So let's put it on Eowyn. And uh, just during the action window here, after staging, let's just heal Eowyn immediately with this uh, daughter of the Nimmerdell. We made one progress and we're just biding our time here. Okay, so... Defending with Berevor. Uh, see, there's three victory points. I wish <laughs> I wish that wasn't being discarded. Of course, that still wouldn't get us there. Okay, so let's attack and kill uh, Dogledor Orcs. And then I guess we could attack for six here. Whoops. Six attack against two is four damage on Orc Horse Thieves. We discard. There's some more victory points. Ugh. Okay, what's coming? Man, a stupid treachery. So this is why I don't like this quest. Okay, let's draw two cards with Barabor. And at this point, it's not even really worth playing Hinamarth. Um, I mean, let's go ahead and heal. I accidentally took two resources off of Theodred. Let's heal him for his two damage. Uh, let's put out Glaywine just for the sake of playing all of our cards. Um, so I actually kind of want this to surge, so let's clear this. Let's go ahead and put a chump into play, uh, Snowborn Scout, and we'll clear the outer ridge that goes to the victory display. And I think we have 16. I'm just going to refresh my memory. 2, 7, 12, 13, 15, 16, yes. All right, I'll quest with Eowyn and Theodrid. We'll put the resource on to Theodrid and we'll ready him. And that's enough. We will reveal Pursued by Shadow. I'm going to play a Test of Will to cancel that. And it's going to surge because there's no um, locations in the staging area. Okay, there's some victory points. It's still one away from our 20. Okay, so we made three progress. 
And so Orc Thieves will attack, will want to attack, but it can't. And we'll attack and kill Orc Thieves. Let's do it. And that was the shadow. We have plenty of attack, so he's, he's going to leave play. Uh, let's draw a card with Glaowine. And we'll look at what's coming with Eastern Crows is coming next. Okay, there's a Surge. Okay, refresh, next round. And we'll exhaust Steward of Gondor. All right, so just to show you, not that I need to do this, but just to show you how this works, this deck is one of those where you have to have 50 cards, and so you just have more tools than you really need. Uh, it's just an easy, easy quest. But again, just the only reason it can take a while is what we're seeing here, where uh, you're just waiting on the 20 victory points. But I'm going to go ahead and clear Falls of Ryros by playing this event here. Ride uh, to Ruin, discard a Rohan ally to choose a location, place three progress tokens on that location. And uh, again, I don't mind things surging, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So I remove the resource from Eowyn's pool to pay for this. So I'm going to take that action, discard a Rohan character. Let's discard the Snowborn Scout and put three progress onto Rauros Falls. And then if I want to, I can also play Stand and Fight. I'm just doing this to show you. And we can resurrect from our discard pile an, an ally. And so we're going to bring into play the Snowborn Scout and, and clear Rauros Falls, which puts us at 19 victory points. We're one away. Okay. Um, there we go. So that's just kind of kind of a neat thing there. Okay, so now because there's no location in staging area, any treachery would surge. Okay, we'll quest with Eowyn and with, <clears throat> excuse me, with Theodred. Put a resource on Eowyn. Ready, Theodred. And we reveal, oh, let's draw our last card with a Glaywine. Okay, it's another Ride to Ruin. Okay, we reveal Eastern Crows, which surges into Slick Footing. When revealed, remove one progress token from each location in play. Then discard the top card of each player's deck for each progress token removed by this effect. There are no locations in play. So that's going to surge because there are no locations in play. And it's going to surge into Rock Slide, which I will definitely cancel with Test of Will. All right, Rock, uh, Eastern Crows will engage us. Let's block with Bearvor. And it gets plus one. All right, what do you know? The encounter deck is trying to scare us. Okay, we're going to shuffle that back into the encounter deck. Let's look at what's coming. There's the victory points we need. We'll win next round. Refresh. Next round. Final round. Okay, I'm only going to quest with Eowyn. I reveal the North Stair. And then I'm going to immediately play... Uh, ride to Ruin to discard an ally, a Rohan ally, and put three progress on this location. So it goes to the victory display, and that means we've won because obviously we've explored this quest level, this stage level, with 12 progress. There are no Immanuel locations in play, and we have 20 victory points. Let's count just to make sure. I'm sure of it, but three, six, uh, eight, and my math's terrible, 13, uh, 18. 19, 21, and 22. So you got that three. We were just one away when we got this, the last three victory points. Well, that's it. That's the quest. It is what it is. It's pretty simple and just kind of um, a, a leisurely stroll, I would say, where you just never really struggle. The only enemy that can really hurt us is maybe Chiefs and Uthak, but we can chump with all kinds of allies, like there's Rohan... Uh, or snowborn scouts everywhere, and we can stand and fight them. And so really pretty much impossible to lose, I would say, with this deck. Impossible to lose, and pretty much with any deck. I think you could beat this maybe with with a tactics deck at this point, but mono deck, maybe not. But uh, thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope you will come back to the next uh, playthrough, which will be the Dead Marshes, which I think is a little bit better than the Hills of Imm 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 Imm